All right, guys, here's an update on my solar panel um, that I got. I hooked it up to my tracker. <clears throat> so I put these two solar panels on there yesterday. And yesterday and today is the first sunny day we've had in a week. It's been kind of rainy and wet. That's why my other videos look a little dark and dreary. But um, I was just wanting to show you guys like what it looks like now that I'm almost done. I got to tidy up the wires back here, and I'm still waiting on couple issues with the um, with with the solar tracker unit because when it's shady and dark out it wants to trip and flash an error code like a TG-009 um, I'm not sure why it's doing that but uh, so far today I went out here and I set it this morning and the Sun's been out and it's tracked it all day long um, and I tested it by putting a straight pin on the front side to see where the shadow is. It's still just a touch off, but I gotta adjust that. And I believe I can do it by moving um, by moving these little photo or there are photo panels that that collect the sunlight, tell it which way to move, adjusting them. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys an almost complete view of it. There, it just tracked. Um, it just tracked because it's the TX is set for 180 seconds which you divide that by um, 60 and it puts it at every two minutes it tracks to the Sun but this is the almost completed version of it and I really like it um, those are both 100 watt solar panels from eco worthy um, I like them. If you do buy Eco-Worthy, always, always check the connections in the box behind the panel on um, both panels. One, I found a tab wasn't completely soldered, and on the other panel, I found a um, diode that wasn't completely soldered into the panel. It was loose, but for the price, I always check. Always remember to check those before I ever put them up. And if I see one, I'll go ahead and solder it down and get it fast and tight. Um, but for the price of those panels, you can't be eco-worthy. It's good quality panel. Just you got to watch their their um, soldering in the back. It, 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 they, they lack there, and that's somewhere they need to, they need to progress um, and do something better. But for now, I do it. And the reason the panels slightly look different this is a new panel from 2018 and this is a panel from 2014 which has not been in use it's just been stored um, I got it out the difference between the two is the cells you see the little diamonds the diamonds in the newer panel are bigger and the next major difference that I notice is in the panel same company same panel is the the height difference here and here um, these have a little thicker and heavier heavy duty um, um, outside frame than the old panels do but for my application I mean I already bought that panel that panel it costs like hundred and fourteen dollars right now I paid hundred and twenty six for that one back in 2014 but obviously they've paint solar panels have changed in price so I mean, you add that up, there's $236 worth of panels there, uh, give or take. Um, but I like them. I like my tractor. and It's doing pretty good for now. And um, still working on the company with the issues on the auto tractor during um, cloudy days and rainy days. But they're getting back with me. Very fast shipping and stuff with them. And, and I really like them. But anyways, thank you guys. Have a good day and God bless.